Hey brother, welcome to another day of gleaning wisdom from the book of Proverbs. And today we come to Proverbs chapter 20, verse 29. And uh, hang in there, there's a sting to this, but it gets better at the end. Here's what it says. The glory of young men is their strength, but the splendor of old men is their gray hair. Our two words for the day are these, young and old. The living church is truly intergenerational of both young men and old men. And today the, the Proverbs shows us something that we're observing in our culture. And I'm going to take some thoughts this morning from this book, From Strength to Strength by Arthur Brooks. He talks about life transitions and how to do them gracefully, how to anticipate them. And the key thing he talks about is the obvious evidence of decline in all of us. We don't want to admit it, but here's what he says about decline. He says, for example, professional athletes hit their peak prior to the age 27. He says, knowledge workers, people who depend on fresh information, hit their peak in their 40s. He says, uh, prize-winning scientific discoveries have all been done by men and women in their early to late 30s. Uh, he says the probability of producing a major innovation at age 70 is about zero. Then he talks about writers who hit their peak from 40 to 55, or financial professionals reach their peak between 36 and 40, or doctors who reach their peak in their late 30s, which is barely after they've finished medical school. Entrepreneurs, those who have founded billion-dollar companies, are usually between 20 and age 34. And there are skilled jobs like air traffic controllers that require that you retire by the age of 56. Well, this is called fluid intelligence. This is the kind of intelligence that you're born with. This is an IQ. This is the, the things that make you smart and capable but he says there's good news here because even though we start to decline, maybe in our mid-30s or early 40s, maybe as late as 50, there's another curve that begins. Fluid intelligence declines, but crystallized intelligence then begins. And this crystallized intelligence is what the Bible would call wisdom. It's the, the wisdom of age. It's the wisdom of observation. He says this, when you are young, you have raw smarts. When you are old, you have wisdom. Or at least if we cultivate that wisdom, we have that kind of wisdom. And so God wants us to grow in this wisdom and learn to use it. This isn't to say that just because we're older, we have more wisdom or, and we should impose that on others. It does mean, however, that we can cultivate a kind of intelligence that comes from experience, it comes from sorting through information, it comes through the, the pain and the recovery, it comes through the, the grace and the humility of seeing lessons in life. So both the young and the old, the intergenerational scope of the church is a wonder. We may, we're amazed at the, the strength of the young, but we also ought to be amazed at the splendor of the old. So may God grant us grace today to see where we are in this spectrum and to grow. No matter whether that's your fluid intelligence or your crystallized intelligence, God wants us to grow and to use it, to give it away for his glory and for the good of others. God bless you.